Welcome to another Ziva Math video. In this video, we're going to learn how to multiply fractions, but first let's go over the steps. Your first step is to multiply the numerators and the product will become your numerator. Then you'll multiply the denominators and this product will be your denominator. Now that you've multiplied the fractions, you need to turn any improper fractions into mixed numbers if that's the step you've been instructed to take, and you must always simplify if needed. I'll work through these steps in the first two examples, and for the remaining examples, I'm going to show you an option to simplify earlier in the problem. Let's get started. For our first example, we have 1 half times 6 sevenths, and our steps were to start with the numerators and multiply our numerators together. So our numerators are 1 and 6. 1 times 6 is 6, so 6 becomes the numerator in our product. Then we look at our denominators, and we're going to multiply our denominators. So our denominators are 2 and 7. So 2 times 7 is 14, so 14 will become the denominator in our product. So now we have 6 fourteenths. We don't have an improper fraction, so we don't need to worry about that step, but we do need to simplify if we need to. 6 and 14 are both even numbers, so they share a common factor of 2, so I can simplify. So I'm going to take 6 and divide it by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then I have 14 divided by 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. So my final answer is 3 sevenths. Our next example, we have 2 ninths times 3 tenths. And again, we're going to start by looking at our numerators. Our numerators are 2 and 3. 2 times 3 is 6, so the 6 becomes our new numerator. Then we're going to look at our denominators, 9 and 10. We're going to multiply 9 times 10. 9 times 10 is 90, and 90 will become our denominator in our product. I don't have an improper fraction, so I don't need to turn it into a mixed number, but I do need to consider simplifying. And I noticed that these two numbers, my numerator and denominator, share a common factor of 3. So I'm going to start with 3. 6 divided by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And 90 divided by 3 is 30. I need to ask myself, am I done simplifying? Well, 2 thirtieths, 2 and 30 are both even, so I can continue simplifying here. I'll divide my numerator by 2 and my denominator by 2. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 30 divided by 2 is 15. So my final answer is 1 15th. For our next example, we have 4 fifths times 3 eighths. And we said for the remaining examples that we were going to simplify as we go. So we are going to do some cross simplifying in the rest of these problems. So you simplify before you start to multiply instead of at the end. So I need to look at the numbers across from each other. So if I look at 4 and 8, 4 and 8 share a common factor of 4. So I can do my simplifying now. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Then I'm going to multiply the same way we have been, looking at our numerators. 3 times 1. 3 times 1 is 3. And then we're going to multiply our denominators. 5 times 2, 5 times 2 is 10. Notice when I did the multiplication steps, I used my simplified numbers when multiplying. So my product here is 3 tenths. Our next example, we have 5 6 times 9 11 and we're going to use this cross simplification to simplify as we go. So looking at our numbers, I have 5 and 11. 5 and 11 don't share any common factors, so I can't simplify there. But 9 and 6 do. 9 and 6 share a common factor of 3. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. Then I can divide 6 by 3 and I get 2. So now I'm going to multiply my numerators. I'm multiplying 5 times 3, that simplified number. 5 times 3 is 15. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my denominators. 
2 times 11, because I'm going to use that simplified number, 2 times 11 is 22. So my final product is 15 20 seconds. For our final example, we have 4 ninths times 3 tenths. And again, I'm going to look to cross simplify before I get started, so I don't need to be simplifying there at the end. So looking at my numbers that are across from each other, I have 4 and 10, which I see they're both even. They're going to share a common factor. And 3 and 9, which are going to also share a common factor of 3. So starting with 4 and 10, we're going to divide 4 by 2. And we get 2, then we'll divide 10 by 2, and we'll get 5. Then we'll look at the 3 and the 9. We said they share a common factor of 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So now when I go to multiply, I'm going to use these simplified numbers to multiply. So I have numerators of 2 and 1. 2 times 1 is 2. And my denominator is 3 and 5. 3 times 5 is 15. 2 fifteenths is my product. It does not need to be simplified, so 2 fifteenths is my final answer. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Ziva Math for more videos.